crafters it's Cynthia I am back today with a continuation of this diamond painting and um, unfortunately I was having all kinds of problems with the first section um, not the diamond painting but the uh, video files for some reason wouldn't upload to my computer and I fussed with them for over an hour trying all different kinds of things. I'd never had that problem before, so I ended up having to delete all of those um, many long minutes of filming the first section. So, you unfortunately are not going to get a chance to see that. Um, one small section of video did make it through, and so that is what you're going to see first in this video. And then... Um, now I am working on, uh, the second section and, um, it's going along really, really well. And I think, um, uh, the first time around on some of these, I wasn't, uh, pushing the diamonds down, uh, tightly enough my first way through. And so now when I'm placing them, if they if they go right into their square uh, and are in the perfect position, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of wiggle, you know, push down a little bit and wiggle my tool slightly to get that gem really, really seated uh, down into the sticky. And that way I don't have any loose gems because uh, later on when I went back to press down um, some of those little gems popped right off the canvas and I clearly don't want that to happen so anyway um, I've kind of exposed the top portion here of these roses and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm filling in with probably the very lightest color so I'm just going through and wherever I see that symbol I'm just filling it in. And every so often, of course, I miss a symbol, and that's no big deal. Um, this is certainly, it's a lot easier to change your gem color uh, quickly and easily as opposed to uh, changing your floss color when you're cross-stitching. So, being a long-time cross-stitcher, I have a lot of experience changing colors all the time. So one of these centuries, I'm going to share all of my cross stitching stuff with you guys, but I just haven't done it yet because um, I've been so focused on doing card videos and working for the design team and everything that I'm currently doing. So I really don't um, want to take on yet another what's the word <laughs> yet another craft and put it on YouTube so anyway now I'm switching to color 3756 which in the uh, floss the DMC color it's a very very pale pale blue and these gems kind of look like a super light gray but the 3756 is a color I use a lot in my cross stitching. So I'm very familiar with it. So anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep on plugging away. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn up some music. So you guys sit back and relax and craft along with me. <laughs> 